this is Brian LeBlanc. And uh, I know I've been absent for quite some time. And to be honest with you, that's because I have been uh, uh, progressed a little bit and it affected my memory. I was forgetting a lot of things. And one of the things I was forgetting was to uh, show up with, with, uh, with Joan uh, to make sure that uh, everything was going right and so forth. Well, uh, that didn't work out. So we've changed platforms now. We're on Zoom, uh, which is much easier for me uh, to, uh, to handle. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. Um, so Joan, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for uh, doing your thing to get things going. Um, all right, what I wanted to talk about today is traveling with dementia or vacationing with dementia. Um, for those of you that know me, you know I'm not the type of person just to sit around and let life go. Um, I like to do things. I like to stay very active uh, because that keeps my brain active. Um, so what happened was earlier in the year, um, well, I think it was uh, back in September or early October, uh, we went to the theater here in, uh, in Clearwater, Florida, and we saw Eric Clapton. And it was a beautiful, wonderful concert. I mean, this guy was just, you know, you hear his music, but when you see him in, in real life, it, it, it's a showstopper. It really was. I uh, played all his great hits and all that kind of stuff. And plus that was Maureen, Maure, uh, he is Maureen's, um, she calls him her boo. <laughs> And uh, so she she kind of wants to uh, she wanted to see it. So uh, and then we went on our vacation and we went to we started out in Las Vegas and we saw a Lionel Richie in concert. Uh, then we went to the Grand Canyon where we visited the Western Rim to uh, we went on the uh, went out on the skywalk. Uh, and if you want to see some. Uh, a funny picture uh, from the Skywalk. You can go to my Facebook, uh, my Facebook page, and and check it out. <laughs> um, we also went to Sedona, did some shopping, and um, the only bad part about it was coming home. Our flight was canceled, and so uh, it was uh, it was about a twenty four hour wait before we were able to get on another plane and to get back home. Um, I was surprised at myself for not getting very anxious because normally I do, but then I realized that the times I really get anxious is when I was traveling by myself. Well, I no longer travel by myself. I travel with Maureen. She goes everywhere I go. So that helps me a lot too. Um, but the reason I'm, I'm saying this is you know, if you're caring for someone that has a dementia-related illness, or if you are a person that's living with a uh, dementia-related illness, it doesn't mean it's the end of all things. As I've always said, you know, it could be a brand new beginning, and you could do a lot of things that you've always wanted to do, and, you know, they're there for the taking. Why don't you get out and go do something? You know, I, I've been guilty of sitting in my recliner all day and not doing much of anything except playing solitaire. Um, while that could fire some stuff going on in my head, um, I've also experienced a lot of, uh, of brain fog. Uh, that's how I know that I'm going through a transition. Um, and I, I can't, so there, there are times when I forgot um, Maureen's name. I just, I just went blank. I couldn't, I couldn't remember. When I was signing on to Zoom here, I lost the, the, um, the address that Joan had sent me earlier. And so I started searching and I realized I forgot Joan's name. So it's, it's one of those things that you, not that 
But Joan was never forgotten during this whole process. She's still very there. Uh, her face was there and everything. Just couldn't remember her name. So those are the times when I, I call and say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you know, I don't want people to think that I forget their names, but, you know, I do have an excuse, but I don't like using that excuse. So, you know, that's uh, that's the way things go. But if you can, you know, if you can do a trip and, you know, you might want to start off slow, just take a, a trip, a local trip somewhere in your area. And if that goes well, then, okay, maybe you can go on another trip that's outside of your comfort zone, really. Maybe it's sort of a place that you've never been, but always wanted to go, like I did with the, the uh, Grand Canyon. But try it, you know, you make some preparations, get yourself familiar as to where you're going to go, and it won't be so bad. So my advice is, number one, um, don't just sit around doing nothing. Stay active. Get out, walk, uh, pedal a bike. Do, you know, do some sort of physical energy every day. Eating well, that has helped me uh, retain my weight. I was, uh, I was losing weight again, and so that's never good. And, um, and just, you know, enjoy life as much as you can. And I guess that's, uh, I guess that's about it now. And uh, I will sign off, but not before I say, I'm Brian LeBlanc. And I have Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, and type 2 diabetes. But you know what? I don't let them have me. You should do the same. Have a great week, and we'll see you again really, really soon. Thank you.